welcome to yet another episode people today i want to answer a question that one of my audience asked me and the question is this why are divorce rates or breakup rates in marriages and in intimate relationships so high in the world right now big question for all of us to you know answer and the question or the, the main point is this are there any things that we do that will predict the end or a breakup the end of a relationship or the breaking up of a relationship whether an intimate relationship or a marital relationship so researchers have come up with quite a number of things that would determine whether a relationship break up or not before i even go into the first point don't forget to like subscribe to this channel comment and then share the videos to support us now let's look at the things that would predict the end of a relationship whether a marital relationship or an intimate relationship the first one is we've not learned the skills of how to relate we've not learned the skills yet you know when a relationship breaks down everybody thinks that they are relating best they are relating the better way so it's, everybody will try to defend themselves that I did this, I related in this way, but the fact is this, we need to face it in this time. We've just not learned the skills of how to relate with the opposite sex. Because look, the most difficult thing about relating with the opposite sex is this, that they have a different, you know, they are thinking in a different way. They are feeling in a different way. They have a different perspective from you. And then you are trying to relate with them to align yourself with them and that is why the relationship is very difficult so we all have to learn the skills of how to relate with the opposite sex another thing that is leading to frequent or too many breakups in relationships intimate relationships or marital relationships is the fact that people are arguing constantly too much argumentation that instead of couples or partners discussing issues they end up arguing and too much argument can definitely lead to a breakup of the relationship another point is that when partners get together in a marriage in an intimate relationship at some point they start taking each other for granted so taking each other for granted is one thing that can definitely lead to a breakup of the relationship of course no human being wants to be taken for granted we all want to be respected we all want to be taken for something we will all want to be valued so if your partner starts taking you for granted taking what you say for granted taking your personality for granted taking your feelings for granted then definitely you will not be happy with them and therefore that can lead to a breakup as well and then the other point is this that partners become less interested in seeking their partner's love so if you become so less interested in seeking your partner's love as you did in the beginning in the beginning when you meet your partners you are so interested you want to you know get their love and all of that so you try to put up behavior say things do the things that would make the person happy around you and therefore you know be in a relationship or in a marriage with you but over time if you lose this interest you know in seeking your partner's love this would definitely lead to a breakup of the relationship Another thing is also this, that partners lose interest in seeking the approval of their, of their partner, you know, as it was in the beginning. So in the beginning of a relationship, you are trying to seek the approval of your partner. So because of this, you try to do the things that will make them, you know, like you, that will make them approve of you as the right person for them to be in an intimate relationship, to be in a marital relationship. But over time, if you lose this interest of trying to seek the approval, you put up behavior that they don't like and this can definitely lead to a breakup of the relationship so what else can lead to a breakup of a relationship why we are having so many divorce rates and breakup rates in the world right now the other thing is something we call stonewalling so in stonewalling when there's an issue that has to be discussed one partner will decide not to talk to the other partner at all not to listen to you not to talk to you and this is what we call stonewalling so if there's too much stonewall in the relationship the chances that it will break up is very high another thing that can lead to the breakup of a marital relationship or an intimate relationship is constant criticism 
if you are so critical of your partner all the time, almost always criticizing them without trying to solve issues with them, that can also make them angry or make them unhappy and therefore lead to a breakup of the relationship. Let's talk about being defensive even when you are wrong. So when you are too defensive, sometimes you know that you are very wrong yet you try to defend your point and defend yourself even though you know you are wrong. This will definitely make your partner unhappy and therefore lead to a breakup of the relationship. So these are some of the things that would make you know a relationship more likely to break up and therefore you know predict divorce or a breakup. You know, share this video, like, leave a comment, let me know what you think about why relationships are breaking up frequently in the world today.